Welcome to my channel guys and today I am going to show you how to use CloudWatch logging feature to you know build your logs inside Amazon's CloudWatch in instead of having them as a log file. So on the server we, when you are running your application on production instance right you have quite a few options in terms of logging. <coughs> you have single daily slack sys logs so on and so forth however i am today going to show you how to use amazon's cloudwatch which is a very beautiful service where we can uh, store all our logs it gives us the ability to search for specific kinds of logs and analyze them especially if you are running your applications under a load balancer and you have more than one um, application server right uh, and you want the logs to come from all of the API servers or the application servers to one single channel then I think this is one of the uh, options which you can try okay so to to get started with right what we will need to do is go to my I'll go to my Amazon console and in that I will create a group which will be named as react admin okay I am working for this you know demo project which I'll be sharing on github uh, so the idea is I will create this um, project which has a front end in react using the admin LTE theme and it will be powered by a Laravel API which is our you know this server app so for logging we will be using cloud front uh, sorry cloud watch logs so i'll go to my iam and i have certain things as you uh, know like i have seven users and groups the first thing which i'm going to do is add a new group this is the create screen for a new group i'll call it react admin group Okay, react admin gr so once that is done i need to select some of the access or permissions uh, which amazon calls as policies which i want this group to have right so i will have initially cloud watch full access later on maybe s3 and sqs but yeah for now i think what we will do is we'll do cloud watch full access click next and we'll create that group once that is done we will add a new user we'll call it react admin user we will give it programmatic access only so which means it doesn't have the ability to log into the aws console by you know any username or password it will only have uh, you know sdk and cli level access because this user will be only communicating through the sdks next inside permissions what i will do is there are already four groups out of which i will choose the last one which i just created click next these are tags which are primarily used for categorizing so i'll just say react admin type and review create once i create this user you need to be very careful this is the username this is the access key id and this is the secret access key now the access key id you will always get from the I am console however the access key is something which you will not get again so you'll have to copy it and keep it in a safe place for now what I'm gonna do is in my ENV right I'll just paste these two with name as CloudWatch key keep an underscore here okay the key is this 
CloudWatch secret. Copy this. Right. And the rest of the configurations we will do later on, but you need to be absolutely sure that you have this or you can download the csv if you want to but okay i have copied it over so i don't need it and also i would like to tell you that once you create this right so for example well now you have seen the secret key uh, for my you know access key which is a problem for me because you know anyone who has that key would be able to access so what i'm going to do later on is i'm going to delete this key and I'll create a new one. So at any point of time, right? Um, if you feel that your key is compromised, something like that, you should uh, remove that key and add a new one and change your application accordingly. If you see, um, AWS also uh, tells you the same. So as best practices, we recommend frequent key rotations and you should never share your secret keys with anyone, right? So by the time you hit um you know by the time you see this tutorial i have already already changed the keys or maybe inactivated them okay so yeah that's done now for us to use logging inside our application through cloudwatch we will need uh two packages rather no i think we need only one package it's max banton cwh that's the name of the package, right? Um, yes, this is the one. Okay, so I'll first do a composer require of this package. I'm going to my terminal. Composer require. And while this is happening, right, there are a lot of documentations on what exactly you need to do for the um, you, know, you need to basically create a class called uh, a factory class which will be used and the configuration will tell Laravel that this is the logging mechanism that we need to use so I have some tweaks uh, in my class so what I will do is I'll copy paste from uh, this place you now this is the code base from where I'm copying I'll paste the link down below in the description but I'll for now just copy this okay cloudwatch logger factory is the name of the class we'll go inside app we'll create a new php file inside logging slash cloud watch logger factory hmm. okay i think uh, this is happening because i have that in my code base so i'll just walk you through what is happening okay it basically uses do i have this no i don't so yes i think this is the reason why i also wanted the um aws sdk um hold on or maybe no i think the max uh, banton cwh will um have a dependency of AWS CloudWatch logs. So while this is getting downloaded, let's go through the code base. What I'm saying is there is an invoke function. Okay, every logging class which we need to use should have this function invoke. Uh, SDK params, I have a tag name if I have configured it. Otherwise, I keep it empty and the name will be CloudWatch. Okay, so this is the configuration which will be available in this list of channels right like this i have cloudwatch named here so these are some of the default configurations which i have set then i have created an instance of the aws cloudwatch logs client okay this is something which i'll get from the package which is getting downloaded and then this is the group name this is important for us to uh, identify the log file in cloudwatch i will tell you uh, i'll keep it changing and then you will understand what is happening right so right now it is app name which means it will be laravel and then the app environment so it will be laravel dash local okay so the group name will be this um log stream name 
which is the stream name which we want and then this is the retention days to keep the log files okay and then i have uh, this handler okay which i have called and inside the logger channel i have uh, passed my handler which has all these configurations right so this is where i created that instance and now we need to tell um, laravel that i have a custom driver which uses this app logging and then cloud logger watch factory which is this class we just went through right and we are using certain uh, environment variables so the SDK configuration say, says that the region will be CloudWatch log region or it will be USA East 1, right? So why don't we copy this? I will set to AP dash South East 1, okay? And once that is done, let us see, we have the package installed which means now I should be able to it's indexing hold on a bit right so this is done now I am able to get into CloudWatch logs this is um, available and CloudWatch class is also available so we are fine till here we added the configurations so region I have configured right key and secret are required so i have done that as well we're using the latest version log retention for me is 30 days um level it can also pick up info at the minimum okay and cloudwatch stream is laravel slash logs so with this done i think the first thing which we need to do is copy this key and inside your env if you see right now we are saying that the log channel is stack so we add as CloudWatch. Okay, I'll um, close my server, push it up. Now, if you see my routes.php, the the home controller is home controller's index function is getting called, right? So that's the reason I am getting this page. So if I want to log something, what I will do is let me go inside this and just say logger i was here inside log okay hit save and then just refresh the page if we have configured everything correctly i think we should be able to see the logs so i am inside ap southeast one so the region is correct inside log i will have log groups now inside log groups you see i have laravel local admin local is something which i was trying when i was you know doing the rnd before or rather you know trying before i show it to you so laravel local right now is our log file and this is the log stream so log stream in log stream you can either keep it as laravel log let's say one if you have multiple api servers you can configure it and say let's say this is from server one this is from server two or maybe you can keep it same and we will get the logs from the same on the same stream from both the servers so right now this is laravel log okay and inside this i have debug i was inside the log let me go again here and dollar now equals now and hit save refresh the page once and maybe once again go to the channel and we have two logs again right and you can you know search things like maybe 1621 right so 16 21 Hmm. Not working, is it? Uh, I can search for I was and I will get the logs for sure. Let's do something else. Okay. Let's just say um, uh, 
an error occurred and I hit refresh and then I hit refresh first of all I will see I should see that right hmm didn't happen right logger I did hit the refresh button so I'm not very sure what is happening let me see come over here okay I have a filter here that's why it was not working I guess right an error occurred so i if i search for error now i should see those two logs in here with the time so this is utc okay and that's how we get everything in place so yeah this is very much useful because you know when you have multiple servers running you know recently i have been working on an application where there are three um servers running in parallel and there was a, a worker server as well so there are four um servers which were creating log files and so if there is any error it was becoming very difficult for us to uh, kind of you know look at four log files in four different servers and hence what we did was we said okay you know we need a consolidated way of looking at logs and that's where we have cloud watch now i mentioned to you that you know this particular line inside our factory is the naming convention right so this is very important so for example right now my app name is laravel and production is local if i do react admin which will be the name of our application i run the server again and i refresh the page so what is going to happen is here we'll get one more which is react admin local so you can have your production as well as the local logs everything coming here and the beauty is after 30 days it will automatically start clearing the logs right and in here we have this right so yeah this is how you use cloudwatch if you like the video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel